Hey folks, welcome to that channel, Skins for Life, where even a hat bleeds burgundy and gold, but right now there's a lot of bleeding in Miami because they just lost Game 6 and the NBA Finals as of tonight. Hmm. What do folks think about this series? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think about this series. It's my own two cents about, the two, about this series right here. It was a tale of two sides. On one side, you had three superstars that came together in Miami to possibly start a dynasty. Now, we don't know if that remains to be seen, but to actually make it to the championship after merely just piecing the team together is an incredible uh, feat. So I give my props to the Miami Heat, but this is where they fail. On the other side, you had a team, and note, I say team because they only had one superstar, one superstar, Dirk Nowinski, who wound up uh, earning the NBA Finals MVP award. Well deserved. He battled through a lot, he battled through double, triple teams, uh, sinus infection, even players on the other side mocking him, but he earned it. And uh, role players that stepped up like Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, JJ Barrera, Deshaun Stevenson. Yes, I said Deshaun Stevenson because he was lights out from three point range in this series. So I, I will even say this even though Deshaun doesn't average a triple double like LeBron did in the series, Deshaun Stevenson clearly played for the moment and was able to captured a moment in his performance in these in this series unlike going back to the other side Miami three superstars two of those superstars are the same one book two D Wade as I struggle with this a little bit D Wade and LeBron James are both scorers and want the ball Bosch is a sidekick we already know this He's a good sidekick. I give him props. Ever since Carlos Boozer called him soft, he's been lights out. He hasn't really missed that much. I bet you his field goal percentage was up in the 60s this series because he had that, that horse grant. And for those of you that don't know, those of you that didn't experience the NBA championships with the Bulls, the first three, horse grant, you get him at the free throw line. I mean, as far as like his jump shot, that 15-footer, he hit it every time. Chris Boss, same thing. Horace Grant right there. Um, and what I'm thinking and what I know, it's not what I think, it's what I know, is that this series came down to who wanted it more in the crunch time. D Wade wanted it. Chris Bosch wanted it. LeBron didn't want anything to do with anything that was difficult. I one point in particular in this game six as I look closely at it, if you notice that when Dallas was up by twelve, LeBron exits the game. He's sitting on the bench. What happens? Miami storms back. Eddie House is hitting threes. D Wade's scoring. Everything's running so smoothly. And they wind up going up by two. So they bring in LeBron and halftime deficit for Miami is two. They're now down by two at halftime once LeBron came back into the game. So that leads me to wonder, is LeBron James the one holding everything up? I say yes. Because he doesn't want to be touched. He doesn't he's not a physical ball player he doesn't have a killer instinct and that is sad coming from a person who has closed games before while he was at Cleveland dominated games beforehand so a lot of the criticism that comes LeBron James's way is well deserved there's no way a guy of that caliber no matter what type of game he has if he can dominate and has sh shown in the past that he can dominate games, 
why didn't he step up in game five? Why didn't he? Why didn't he step up in game? Shoot! Why didn't he step up in any game in the finals? That will continue to boggle the minds of Miami Heat fans until the start of the next season. And with the CBA coming up, we may not have an NBA season, so that's being overlooked right now. So right now, Dallas Mavericks could definitely celebrate this championship for the next two years if this CBA is not agreed on and we have an NFL-like decision or situation on our hands so I'm not gonna rant on anymore about you know what LeBron James didn't do versus what Dallas did well when clearly it was a case of the better team won the Mavericks had the better team period end of story and that's your finals report from your boy DJ81 on that channel skins for life peace